Hello traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com. I'm Bill and it is a Wednesday, October 25th, 2017. And uh, it's currently 7.37 um, in Thailand in the morning. And that means it would be uh, 20, um, 20, 37 on Wall Street. Yeah, trying to get the uh, situation back in order here. Uh, thank you so much for those of you who sent me very nice messages. As you know from my website, I had a death in the family, and uh, I was taking care of that. Me being in Thailand, uh, the family being in the United States, um, you know, phone calls are in the middle of the night because my daytime is their sleep time. So anyhow, thank you so much for everybody who uh, sent me um, messages and uh, very, very nice comments. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get to work. We got to look at data today. There is quite a bit of data um, today that already has come out. Ozzy has had data today, and it was not good. So if we take a look, we can see that Ozzy had CP all their CPI numbers came in, and all of them in the red. <laughs> not a good number. However, you can see that we take a look at this chart. That is the um, from the news from the CPI data that came out. Took a dump to the downside, so we'll keep it at keep an eye on that. Doesn't look to me like this would be a trading opportunity, so I wouldn't go down that road for sure. All right, let's take a look. What else we got? Um, it is quite a busy day today in um, data. So if we go into the London Open. We have German business expectations out of the Eurozone. Um, German current account is coming out today. Also, German IFO business climate index comes out today. High impact data. Uh, Great British Pound has um, BBA mortgage approvals. Um, what is that? GDP comes out today, year on year, quarter on quarter. So, yeah, German 10 year Bund auction comes out today. In the U.S., um, I don't see NBA. NBA comes out today, but I don't see a lot there. Big stuff out of the U.S. is going to be core durable goods comes out today in the U.S. session. Um, BOC interest rate decision comes out of the Bank of Canada today, so that will be interesting. That's also in the U.S. session. Um, but, uh, question crude oil inventories. Crude oil inventories all comes out today. What I have read in the last several hours is that everybody's expecting that oil is going to take this bump to the upside um, because of what's going on. So we'll keep an eye on that. We've maintained above $50 a barrel for some time. So, you know, I don't see this going back down to the $40 or $38 a barrel. I think it's going to stay above $50. And 50 will be the base, and I think we're going to see it inch up a little bit in time. Um, I would say probably 55, 58, and that's probably where it's going to hang out. All right, that's what's going on there. Let's take a look. S&P 500 futures negative 0.14%. NASDAQ futures negative 0.12%. Dow 30 positive 0.72%. Um, small cap 2,000 up 0.22%. S&P 500 VIX positive 0.81%. DAX is positive 0.05%. Nikkei 225 is positive 0.34%. And the dollar index is positive 0.03%. And that is currently at 93.86, the dollar index. Take a look at our gold and oil. Gold is um, 1,276.68 an ounce. Uh, crude WTI is at 52.04. And Brent oil is at 57.84, as expected, as we just talked about oil. U.S. coffee is negative 1.31%. Okay, that's what's going on there. I have to tell you, traders, I really have not been at my charts. In the, you know, um, the death in the family happened on Sunday, so I have not been at the charts as much as I wanted to be. I was in it yesterday, really like a full day back looking at charts and trying to get myself <laughs> back in the game. So I don't have a lot of data on my charts. However, we do have our trade of the day, and we're looking at the pound dollar today. And we're looking at the pound dollar because we can see that this has sold off in the last, like, 36 hours. This has really been a nice sell-off. 
for those who caught this, this was really nice. Look at how this sold off and went through the 200 exponential moving average, retested it as we always like to see that retest, and then bang, all the way down she came, really nice trade. Now we're down here at support. If you look left to the chart, you can see we're at support, and we don't want to, of course, sell here. We never buy at support. We buy at support, and we sell at resistance. So what I'm looking at here is I want to see this head back up to this 50% Fibonacci level at 1.3170. Where are you going to put your stop? Well, 1.3190 would probably be the place to put your stop. Where we're going to take profit, 1.3100. This trade, I think, is going to be a really nice trade if we can get the entry. What if it comes up only to the 38.2, which is also a resistance level, and it starts to head down? Take your trade from there. you got plenty of room. You're not going to get in any trouble. You'll be fine. You'll be break even um, before you head into another support area. So you, you'll be fine. So we can take it at the 38.2. Or we could take it at the 50% Fibonacci level. And that's what I would look at doing today and trading on this pound dollar. You know, bearish bias. We are so bearish bias in the pound. We've been that way for a couple of years now. We want to, <laughs> sorry, we want to, you know, sell the pound dollar. Okay. Trades, I don't have much today. Like I said, I'm back in it. I see the pound. Oh, the pound Aussie took a kick to the upside. Take a look at this. This is a kick to the upside. This was from the data. Right? This is from the data that came out uh, out of the Aussie, and uh, the pound Aussie definitely um, showed their teeth on that one. All right, that's about it for me. Just want to take one look here and look at this. This is the New Zealand dollar. I really like trading this New Zealand dollar. You know, anytime I speak to somebody who's new to trading, I always put them on the New Zealand dollar to trade. It's a, it's, a, it's a currency pair that is, it rides, it's smooth, there's not a lot of jerk reaction. Um, yes, it does react to commodity uh, instances, but it's a very smooth pair, it's, it's very logical, and this has just been so bearish. You know, you just wait for these pullbacks and just sell this. Wait for a pullback and sell it, and you'll do really well in the New Zealand dollar. So that's it for me today, folks. Good to be back in front of the charts and with you. Uh, it is a Wednesday, like I said, October 25th. So we will um, wrap this up, and we'll be back on full, full burners tomorrow um, in Asia. And again, always remember to trade smart and not hard. Traders, have a great trading day. See you tomorrow in Asia. Take care now. Bye-bye.